Oh boy, here we are. Here you go. This is it. Um, let's check garb spotty blood drive. Let's check the options settings. Yep, put it on low because of my equipment can't can't do all the b good things like others do. Gameplay infinite battery because fuck you. <laughs> a lot of people uh, I read about that a lot of people complain about the batteries easily going out and the the devs responded with this. Here you go, you fucking crybabies, infinite battery. I'll take it. Sound effects, graphics. Low, 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 back, controls, I did this myself, left shift, skip dialogue, backspace is open message log, interact is Z, the default for toggle flashlight is F I think, so I went with the, uh, yeah, space, space to run, yeah, right arrow, left arrow, menu, uh, how do I open the menu though? Space W menu cancel open menu S yeah S and we're done let's see new chapter let's go for chapter zero zero blood drive chapter zero zero a faint light oh boy this is gonna be fun come on class rep So early in the game, and we're already hearing screams of agony, <laughs> of pain. <laughs> oh yeah, this happened in the previous game in Book of Shadows, which barely mentions the Book of Shadows except for the last part. Why is it even called Book of Shadows when they're not gonna focus on the goddamn fucking Book of Shadows? Mhm. Mm yeah. No. Damn, I feel her throat hurting with that scream. Nice. And it had been two months since the Book of Shadows incident. I had been critically wounded by the blowback from the sorcery I had involved myself with. But Nakashima was there to carry me out from the crumbling Shinazaki estate. So I can't open the menu during this dialogue and shit. This is gonna suck. The two of us were picked up on the side of the old mountain road and rushed to the hospital, where I was restored to stable condition. The grimoire responsible for so much of the horror everyone had been through, the Book of Shadows was buried in the rubble of the estate when its roof collapsed. Hard to believe that over two months had passed since the fall of Heavenly Host Elementary, since the five of us were returned safely to the real world. Five. Okay. Uh, did she do a ninja move on her friends? Oh no. Did we do it right? That's weird. According to the urban legend site, sharing the paper doll is supposed to cause an earthquake and get you spirited away. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Naho died in the Heavenly Host School, right? In the haunted school. If you die in the haunted school, then, you, uh, then your existence would be removed. Since. Naho was the one who made the website on how to do the Sajiko Ever After. Wouldn't that also disappear along? Uh, sh wouldn't she disappear alongside with every traces of evidence of her she made, her notes, her everything, uh, the website that she made that went with the Sajiko? That doesn't make any sense. See, I'm not just criticizing for the sake of criticizing. This is real actual fucking plot holes <laughs> and people like oh you're overly critical yes that's what makes it fun and besides is it really cr overly critical it really bothers me that hey isn't this a big plot hole how do you explain this anyway hey that's not the kind of thing you invite your friends to do with is it that's so mean sorry guys but now we'll always be together right Right. Uh, after Sachiko vanished from the closed spaces, the effects of the Sachiko ever after vanished from the world along with her. And certainly no one was going to miss a place like that, where countless living beings were trapped, their lives snuffed out violently and traumatically. Ha. Huh. But along with the school, the lads of our friends and our teacher were also erased. They weren't just dead, but wiped from existence entirely. So they still have their bodies, so no one's like, hey, who's that guy with the blacked out face? Like, 
Did they remove it? Did someone put a felt-tip pen on them? Uh -huh. Yeah. What, what if their image was saved in an encrypted password or whatever? Secu has the highest state of security. Would, it still, would their face still be blotted out? I know she's real. Why won't anyone believe me? Listen here. There's no such person as Seiko. Now take your medicine. Please. No. No. It's like a puppy trying to force it to take medicine. Naomi? 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 Take the medicine. Take it. No, I'm not crazy. I'm not. Meds are never the answer. We may have been the lucky ones to survive, but for us, these past two months had been hell on earth. Who? Oh. Someone, someone, please help. Class rep, hang in there. I'm gonna go with psych Seiko route. <laughs> Sis. No, no, I won't let you die. This was my fault for heedlessly performing an occult ritual. I suffered heavy wounds with major blood loss. I was in the hospital for weeks. A lot of people don't like this game. I'm like, really? Alright. Oh, it's Ayumi! Yes! Wait, is this going to be an Ayumi-centric fucking story? Oh my god, I love this game already! But I was finally released yesterday. Returning to school at Kisurag Academy for the first time since this is We barely get Ayumi except for the first game. Book of Shadows, she's kind of there. Sachiko birthday, hey, she's there. And she's funny, but still kind of there. Is this finally Ayumi redemption arc that we've been waiting for? I've been waiting for? <laughs> for Ayumi fans? Let's see. When I reached the front gate, I stopped and stared at the school ground, shrinking back a bit. Why is there no message fucking speed? <laughs> There's no message speed. I'm just gonna check later. I knew that once I passed through these gates, I'd be reminded of a reality where Suzumoto, Miss Yui, and the others no longer exist. You're not gonna mention the other guys? Alright. Shinozaki. Shinozaki. That is her name. Hey, look at that. Nice. Guys. These were the only people in the world who understood me, the only people I could relate to, the only ones who remembered our four departed friends. Yeah. Uh-huh. Welcome back, congratulations on your recovery. Sub. sub. Oh man, I missed Ayumi crying like a bitch. <laughs> oh, look at her slump on uh, Naomi's shoulders. Let's see. So the arrows don't work. Stupid fucking game. Settings. Where is the message speed? There is no message speed. Son of a fuck. Control list. Come on, there's no such. Right? There is no. Yeah, there is no. Why the hell? No, there is no that. Menu cancel. Okay. There is no message speed. Holy fuck. Return to game. Hey, we have a life bar? Huh. So, uh, Welcome back, class rep. Nakashima, that is your name. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Sup, dude. Hey, Shinozaki, finally let you out, did they? Shinuma. Thank you, Shinuma, for coming to check on me so often. Sure, I mean, it was no big deal. Come on, chin up, or I guess it's a little hard to do, all things considered. But we're all here for you, okay? Uh-huh. Hey, look, fuck you guys. I'll run away from here. <laughs> nice. Does, does she still have more coverage? Oh, here for you. You know that. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. So, three times. We can talk to them three times. Mm-hmm. She's kind of, I, I don't know, I don't know how to explain this. She's kind of heavy when she runs. I don't know, man. Shinozaki, welcome back. Uh -huh, thanks. How are you, Majita? I'm okay. I have Yuka. Fuck everybody else. <laughs> Shinozaki, welcome back. Mm, thanks. Same here? Okay. Are you okay, Ayumi? I'm fine, Yuka. Thank you. Cheer up, okay? Okay. All right. Okay, why is that lagging? Huh. Okay, yeah, let's run in and run. Oh, shit, she's tired. Oh, fuck. Hurry, come on, Ayumi, you can reach the gates. 
<laughs> At this point, I still didn't know. I didn't know that even outside of the closed spaces of heaven knows, even here in the real world. What? What's happening with the real world? Such a go ever after, hee <laughs> hee. He, everybody sure does that, that fortune telling stuff. I gotta find me a new one for next time. I hope Mama worked the early shift today. I'm starving. Did you not see your own mother inside the house? Well, Mama, that is scary. I'm so scared. And nobody's there. Really? Is there nobody there? And then it was all just a fake out. Exhale. Uh huh. Oh, that was nothing. All right, cool. We're done, right? Oh boy, I can't save during these. Th <laughs> Look at her float. Uh, oh god, she had her spine bent all the way. Oof. Wait, why did it bleed? Since she got her spine bent in a weird way, that it can kill you. Why did she suddenly bleed? That's a lot of blood coming out from someone whose spine got cracked, got snapped. The curse's reach was growing. Then why didn't reach the four, five Kisaragi students that got out of the curse or something? Oh boy. Hey, look. What is this? An intro music video? Oh uh, yeah, I think it is. So am I supposed to... I don't know. Uh, what do you call that? Am I supposed to talk of it? Is the singer here Asami Imai? I hope it is. I love her. So yeah, a lot of people hated this game. I don't know why. I can't say. But I'm for sure say that people claim that Book of Shadows is way better than Sajiko Ever After. I'm like, uh, I mean, Historic Birthday Bash, yeah. I'm like, no. Did you actually read what you... <laughs> Did you actually read the things that you play? Because... Because Historic Birthday Bash is a lot more character-driven development, yada yada writing, compared to Book of Shadows, where it's all just needless filler. It's like, why would you want to do that? Except for the last part. The last part in Book of Shadows is pretty good. Like, oh my god, an actual fucking sequel. But it's more like a trailer, a teaser, that just... Why didn't they? Why didn't the Book of Shadows focus on that? Why is it even called Book of Shadows? But it's not even about the Book of Shadows. It's all about the fucking retelling the first game in stuff in visual novel form. Why? I don't get that. It's so dumb. <laughs> what is the point of that? Okay. Hey, aren't you cold in that get up? I don't get it. Why do Why do people wear that shit? Why do anime girls wear that? I'm gonna get a disease or something. Or you probably don't shower. Oh, look at that. So cute. Oh, wait, why is that Aiko or something? I wait, what? Too close, bitch. Ooh, who's that? Okay, then. Oh, boy. I hope this doesn't... Oh, Ayumi's determined look is awesome. Is this an actual Ayumi-centric story? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, this is the greatest game ever. This is the greatest game ever, if that's the case. Yeah. Cool. Look at them silhouettes. Oh my god, oh wait, why is she crying? Haha, <laughs> she's gonna suffer, I think. Hey, Jesus suffered, so Ayumi's gonna suffer too. Yeah, another that unexplained, this time junior high school was discovered with a spine broken, broken spine. Welcome home, how was it? Still can't believe your luck, tripping and falling on, what was it again, a cutting tool, and that's all it took for you to put out a commission for two months? Life certainly is fragile. What were you doing anyway? I hope you're not dabbing that occult business of yours like your sister. Oh, wait. So she remembers? Oh, that makes sense. Because her sister died in the haunted mansion. <laughs> in in the present world. Because if you die in the school, haunted school, that's when your existence is erased. So I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm in my rebel phase, mom. And you know, I disappear in like always. I swear. These girls of mine are giving me gray hairs. Yeah. Okay, now what? Can we... No, we cannot move. Can't move. What are you gonna do, Ayumi? Oh, you're not one patch man. Oh god, I love her scream. <laughs> do it again. Oh god, you're... I saw blood coming out from your hand when you punched that wall. Do it again.
Oh, this is great. <laughs> this is great. Well, now what? That same horrible scene played out in my memory once more. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> Why did her head explode? <laughs> Why only her? Why not Naomi and uh, Yumi? What's the difference between her? And <laughs> <laughs> oh god, she's so swiney. A massive earthquake rippled through the basement of the Shinazaki estate, leaving it teetering on the edge of collapse. Worse still, the whole place was in flames, so no one ever bothered to see the wreckage of the Shinazaki estate. No one ever saw her body being buried in the rubble, in the debris. In a way, it's mangled form appeared, as if shimmering in the fire's light, red glinting off of red around the edges of the blades that were rapidly sluicing her face? Flesh? Oh, okay. Fire's light? They danced around through her almost whimsically prompting unnatural gyrations throughout her body without ever letting her so much as touch the ground. Stop. I grabbed onto Hinoe's body in a vain attempt to pull her to safety. But Hinoe used what little strength she had left to push me back. Ah, she got punched in the face. You need to live, Ayumi. Remember, your sister will be with you always, in your heart, as I talk even though my head already exploded and I don't have a mouth. I have no mouth and I must uh, say inspirational shit. <laughs> I could distinctly hear these words in the back of my head spoken in a soft, soothing voice. Soothing. Really. It was short-lived, however, as the ceiling suddenly became webbed with cracks and fissures and a massive beam fell from above, crushing her upper body entirely. But the body is still there, right? Lol. With this, I shot to my feet and began running in circles, screaming uncontrollably. I would have run right into the rapidly spreading fire if Naomi hadn't caught me. Wait, there's a fire already? What <laughs> What set off the fire? <laughs> Were there gasoline poured? <laughs> oh, like zero fucking sense. My hands and feet were covered in red bruises and cuts from the swarm of blades that spell uh, had summoned. Naomi was bleeding as well, but nowhere near as badly. No, Clashra, we have to go. Let me go. Let me go. Ayumi is brilliant. Nakashima and I wanted more than anything to bring our friends back, so we'd gone after the root of the curse behind Sachiko Shinazaki and Heavenly House Elementary. We sought and found another place that shouldn't exist, the estate of Yoshi and Sachiko Shinazaki. It was supposedly torn down long ago. But there it stood. In its basement, we found an old book of spells known as the Book of Shadows. Convinced I could undo the horrors I'd seen, I decided to try a little black magic of my own. This inevitably led to the worst nightmare of them all. I was attacked from all sides, uncertain what was real and what was not. The wounds I endured should have been fatal. Oh, we're back. I don't know how she were. She, yeah, how the hell did she know where she was? <laughs> but just the thing seemed bleak as she came rushing into my rescue. Is Wait, so let me see. In Book of Shadows, there was some... They always heard footsteps in the Shinazaki estate. So could the footsteps have been actually Hinoe's? But again, how the hell did Hinoe know where they were? <laughs> because from what we've uh, seen when the game presented this... It was pretty far. Shinazaki State is pretty far and pretty hidden. So how the hell did Hinoe know where, <laughs> where they were without any GPS? Uh, all I did was add one more sacrifice to the pile. Shut your pie hole. <laughs> Come on, Ayumi, punch it. What are you going to do? Oh, God. Don't get angry at the scissors. Oh, wait. Holy fuck. Do you oh, don't do that. That's bad. I should have died. It should have been me. I'm responsible for everyone's death. Oh shit, stop that shit. It should have been me. Me, me. I can fix her. <laughs> Go ahead then. Die, die, die. Who the hell? What? 
Who's that? Why? Oh, wait. Hey, he looks like the guy from Kaguro Days. That anime, which is a terrible anime, but I really like the music video and the story and the light novel of that. Uh, when the anime, though, pretty much fucking sucked. Come on, don't stop. Just die already. I mean, yeah, the visuals are pretty, but writing, from a writing standpoint, it fucking sucked. With one shot on my desk and sporting a rare open-mouthed version of a shit-eating grin, a boy wearing a black parka was just somehow there in my room without explanation. Who? If you're about to die, why do you care who I am? Clearly, you're not serious about this at all. Why are you in my fucking room? If <laughs> Whimper. Get out of my room, you fucking asshole. Yeah, use the knife. Wait. Stab him, not you, you stupid idiot. <laughs> like I said, you're not serious. You're just deluding yourself. Where's your mind at, bitch? Aren't you just looking to save yourself? Spare yourself from all this suffering. Shut the fuck up, edgelord. So, stop lashing out and do something about it, you fucktard. Ooh, take it easy with the language, you fucking asshole. Ain't nobody else gonna come to your rescue. Eh, except for that one guy. Kishinuma. <laughs> Who the hell are you? What do you want? Why have you come here? Yeah, get out of my fucking room. I'm nobody. Then fuck off. And this is gonna be real boring if it ends with you lying to yourself. Come on, what the hell is that? Without a word, he motioned for me to put my hand out and unceremoniously plopped a piece of 10 yen gum into it. Why? The boy smiled with a cold yet oddly kind expression, then finally took his leave by jumping out of the window. Lamau. Ah, oh, she made you cry because of a fucking gum? <laughs> I can't believe he gave me something so cheap. Fuck, asshole. He broke into my room only to give me something so fucking cheap that I could buy it myself. All I could do was stand there and sob. <laughs> yes, look. It's that guy coming to the rescue. Shinazaki's house should be somewhere around here, I think. Uh, why do you not? Why are you not showing? Haven't you visited her like a lot? Uh, hey, look. Sorry, I'm looking for my skateboard. I nervous <laughs> thing. Hell of a fashion sense that kid's got. Do you spend your time judging people's appearances? Now that Heavenly House is gone, what do I do? How do I repent my sins? By helping people, yeah. Stand, bow. Nice work, everyone. <sighs> hey, Satoshi. You brought lunch today, right? Let's eat on the roof. Oh, sure. Seems like a nice day for that. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Wow, the sky is clear as can be. Not a single cloud. Love that autumn sun. Okay. How about here? Lol, what the fuck? Why did Yoshiki just fucking go through the fucking <laughs> cement? <laughs> Gotta say though, my lunchbox sure feels like is Yoshiki actually dead and he's become a ghost? Wait, why are you not <laughs> going through that fucking cement? What you bring today, Yoshiki? And sometimes I fried up a little something. Did you kill yourself during the process? Man, your kitchen skills are really impressive. I'm guessing I've just got last night's leftovers. Sounds like first world problems if you ask me. You think so? Well, what? For bread or something. <laughs> Why did you even put it in a container? What a fucking asshole mother. Funny. Mom. <laughs> hey, look, he's not going through that thing again. Well, now, lunch all the way up here. It is a fine day today, so I bet your food will be all the more delicious. Yeah. Holy shit, she's hot. She looks like the same uh, girl from The Detective is Already Dead. Uh, it's a good anime series, not the best, but not enough detecting, if you ask me. Like... Wait, where, how do you know this? There's so many plot. There's so many questions I have for that anime. How do you know this? Where'd you get the knowledge from? Since when did detectives shoot people with shotguns? <laughs> yeah, there's so many things. Because the girl in that anime is like very, very unique. Like, 
never never did we really know what she is but somehow she does things that are beyond the realm of ordinary whatever miss kuan niwa i think yeah this was our class ta's miss kuan niwa age 24 she was an English teacher with white hair, blue eyes, and a soft, delicate voice. We asked your classmates about her the day we returned from Heavenly Hills Elementary. They said she was a teacher who came to our school half a year ago, but the five of us had no memory of that. So that explains uh, Shishido. Like, how do you replace someone with Shishido? Her? Yeah. <laughs> In our world, the one we came from, we had Miss Yui. Instead, the filling the exact same role. So we meant no offense to Miss Kuan, but her presence here, this reality, just felt inherently wrong to choose to those of us who survived the Heavenly Host incident. Oh my... Do you not have any lunch, Satoshi? What is it you most like to eat? Huh? What's your favorite food? Uh, pork cutlet on rice, I guess? Okay. What the hell? What's she up to? She's probably just messing with ya. Guess I'll go buy some bread at the cafeteria or something. Okay, but you should probably hurry it up. I mean, lunch has already started, but I doubt they have a whole lot left at this point. Oh crap, you're right. Okay, wait right here. I'll be back. Hold the run button. Sprint gradually raise your stamina. If you run out completely, you won't be able to move again for a short time. Stamina will recover whenever you're not sprinting. However, so be sure to slow down every now and again. What's up? I got lunch, so I'm good. I'm gonna start eating and enjoy this nice weather. Well, you go around and buy yourself some bread. Yeah. Okay, same thing. I can't open the menu? Hey, if you don't get a move on, they'll be out of bread for sure. Nothing here. Tired. Morning, neighbor's dog. I didn't make it. Told you they'd run out. Here, you can have one of my fried shrimp. Open up. My eyes shone upon meeting those of the magnificent golden fried shrimp. Really? Thank you so much. That's a bro thing to do. Just bros being bros. What the fuck? Wait, what? Am I gonna get interrogated? I don't know any aliens. I didn't see any aliens in Mexico. That shit is the lie. I didn't do anything. You must be Mr. Satoshi Machida. Me, I am, but... I've come to deliver your lunch. What? What? The man in black handed over a lacquer box. Is that how you pronounce it? Lacquer box containing pork cutlet on rice with egg. Picture perfect in every way. It was my favorite meal down to the last detail. What the fuck? Why is a teacher like that? Whatever. You see, he utterly dumbfounded, loosened his grip on the fried trip he was holding. He plummeted to the ground, defeated by this new contender. What a waste of golden shrimp. Fried shrimp. Wait, wait, at least let me wait. At least wait until I get up the fucking helicopter before I go away. <laughs> Who? What is Miss Kuan? Comedy, I think. I think they were going for comedy. Hey, look, it's uh, Aika, Aiko, something, Niwa. She's in a historic birthday bash, class rep. The classroom glowed with the golden hue of twilight, but my gaze was fixed at the floor. It must have been obvious to Nakashima that I had a lot on my mind. Wait, we're actually listening to no, Ayumi's inner thoughts? No longer Naomi? Yes! I'm so sick of fucking Naomi. Are you okay? She asked this as she sat down at the desk in front of me, facing backward. She was trying to comfort me. But she had dark circles around her eyes too. She, she must have uh, looked, she and I must have looked very similar to one another from an outside perspective. My left hand was still wrapped in bandages. It throbbed incessantly, reminding me of the previous night's events. I ignored it as best as I could and forced an empty smile. So they're wearing sweaters, uh, no blood, um, what do you call that? No one ever noticed the cut on her Ayumi's hands. Okay. Makes sense. I'm sorry. I won't cause any more trouble. You better, because you're a fucking headache, huh? Trouble? What do you mean? 
I couldn't bring myself to answer that. I just flashed another smile, a confusing one that must have looked very strange to her, and left the classroom. Class rep. Did I just see Shinazaki leaving? Did you not? Who else does have that ponytail? What's wrong, Naomi? My class rep seems to be taking everything really hard. We should try to support her a little more. She's not the only one, Naomi. You've been pretty hard on yourself too. Oh my god, it's always about fucking Naomi. Fuck that. More Ayumi. Shit. Pretty hard on yourself too, don't you think? I'm fine. I mean, I'm not the only one suffering here. We've all got to be strong for one another. I just hope she doesn't do anything drastic. She's gonna do something stupid. I bet you will. I bet she will. Please do something stupid. Please. As I walked, I thought back to my time in, my, in the hospital. I was lying in bed, arms and legs virtually mummified in bandages, when a woman with flowers came in to see me. But you... What? Mummified with bandages? But won't, the, won't your parent, your mother be concerned like, What the hell happened to you? Uh, I fell. You really fell? You fucking kidding me? You're lying. <laughs> You're lying if you got fucking bandages all over your fucking body. Hello, you don't know me, but oh my, you really do just look like your sister? No, they're very far off from each other. <laughs> they don't look the same. Who are you? Wait, this is so stupid. Check this out. Oh wait, you can't see the mouse. Holy shit. So on the left side, we got a full character image. But on the right side, we got a portrait of her face only? It looks so... It looks so... Yuri, <laughs> this isn't. This doesn't look right. Who are you? My name is Mirai Yamamura. You know, your sister and I are both part of the Wicca Institute, an association dedicated to the worship of spirits. Oh, great. Wait, what? Witchcraft and shit? So you know, sis? I do. That's why I've come to see you. She said that she placed a bouquet of flowers at a small table by the bed and looked around the room with a curious expression on her face. Are your parents not here at the moment? They're out shopping. I see, so neither your father nor your mother know, then, about Hinoa's death. Lol. The day she lost her life. Before she went after you to the old Shinazaki estate, the last person she, she contacted was me. Sis contacted you? Yeah, fucking Ayumi. Please listen, let her finish. She probably understood her fate and accepted it. The spirits can reveal a person's time of death if you let them. Holy fuck. <laughs> so it's like a death note? But she was prepared to take action regardless. She didn't care what the consequences might be. She really was an amazing person. Tears began to pour from my eyes and I could do nothing to stop them. Lol. It's a signature move for Ayumi to cry forever. <laughs> I had been sitting up in bed but unconsciously stared in to curl into a fetal position as best as I could with the bandages. Yamamura put her hand on my back to comfort me. Ayumi, I've come here to bestow Hinoa's last wish to you. Huh? Retrieve the grimoire, the book of shadows. Why Why me? Holy shit, she's still a high school girl. Why, why would you assign that to a fucking, uh, a fucking person that doesn't know shit yet? She's still learning. <laughs> the forbidden book that's been passed down through the Shinazaki family for generations. If that book should ever fall into the wrong hands, the world would most assuredly be plunged into utter chaos. See, we have the we I, W I, an association of white witches who commune with spirits and abide by the will of nature. Hinoya was initially hesitant to involve herself with anything related to the Shinazaki bloodline, having defied her parents and rejected her lineage. But in recent years, she had been sensing the presence of the book and growing more and more intrigued. The other Wiccans and I looked for it, of course, but we found no hint of it at the site of Yoshi and Sachiko Shirazaki estate. We were surprised to find bird beams and other debris of the old house on what we expected to be nothing more than a vacant lot, but that was all we found. Yet even though it wasn't there, I could still sense it. Its presence remains, somewhere in this world. Yamamura looked directly into my eyes. Did you know that someone else who was living in the city who shares her bloodline with you and Yoshi Shinazaki? Oh, Korea. More fucking characters. Oh, Corpse Party, stop it with this shit. Come on, really, I'm serious. Stop introducing more and more fucking characters. Holy fuck. Yamamura pulled a notepad from her pocket and carefully wrote a name and address on the top sheet. She then tore the page and handed it to me. Makina Shinazaki. I knew that name. It was on the family tree. Oh, fuck. Where is it? 
Yeah, in the Shinazaka estate's basement, Yoshi's grandmother had three daughters, and the second was Makina, so Yoshi's mother, younger sister, Yoshi's aunt. Sure, I, I believe you. I don't care for looking for it. Makina's house is deserted now. If you were to go there, you might find some clue that would help lead to the Book of Shadows. We tried, but we were too strongly connected to the spirit world. We just couldn't enter the room. Why not just hire some random guy to do it? Why is she just like <laughs> if you guys are too strongly connected to the spirit world, isn't Ayumi also connected to the spirit world because she has a strong whatever, psychic whatever, I don't, yeah. I don't know what exactly you might find there, but if you have the strength to fulfill Hinoe's last request, I'd like to ask that you try. And with that, Yamamura simply turned and left the hospital room. Sis's last request. Whoa, oh my god, how are you gonna save? On the other side of the door, a peculiar girl stood in wait. As soon as Yamamura had covered enough distance to put me out of earshot, two of them spoke. Nice work. Is that good enough? Can I go now? Just you people breathing makes my skin crawl. But I won't kill you, so yeah, that's good enough. Now get out of my face. Let me guess, is she the good guy and the hooded guy is the bad guy? I don't know. Or maybe it's the reverse. Yamamura ran away as quickly as she could without drawing attention to herself. As if in response, the intimidating girl in the peculiar outfit, intimidating, <laughs> spat out on the hospital wall. That's rude. Man, hard to find anyone these days who's not a dumbass. Then why won't you do it yourself? As she mumbled these words, she sneaked a sidelong glance at me in my room. I was completely oblivious. But you were able to narrate this anyway, right, Ayumi? How do you know this? Noe Shinazaki died way too easily. Worthless piece of shit. Right. Oh, look at that determined face. It was time to meet my fate. I had no trouble locating my kid's residence. I don't know what I was expecting, but what I found was just an ordinary apartment building. I couldn't involve Machida and the others in this. They've been through enough already. Besides, this was a family matter. My bloodline was responsible for this whole mess, so it was only right that I'd be the one to make amends alone. Oh my god, the Yumi Cedric fucking story, I love it! This is the place, alright. Shimorinjaku South Apartments. Looks pretty run down. I'd expect apartments in this condition to get torn down rather than just left to run. Does anyone even manage this building? Yeah, because of the candle over there. So yeah, someone does manage the building. Oh, thank god we can save. Whenever you see a candle on the map, you can examine it to restore your HP and save your game. Cool. Okay. In addition to the most of the name tags being missing from the mailboxes, the ones that remain are encrusted with dirt and decay and are only barely legible. Some in fact are just plain rotted out entirely, or the slots for them are rusted over. They look like props from a horror movie. No Makina Shinazaki here, I think. I should check one of the other stairwells. Makina's apartment doesn't seem to be in this block. I should look elsewhere. Alright. But I think I'm gonna end it here. Oh, that lagged. Yep. See, I've already, I've already made a save. Uh, I already made a short playthrough because I want to see if how well OBS would capture this game. So yeah, looking good. Yay! And the Yumi centric fucking story finally for the final. How many games has it been since we last? Uh, Talked about a human shit, so yeah, I'm excited about this. Blood Drive. Want to try to get for yourself? It's available on Steam. That is all for today. Stay safe and take care of yourselves. The writing still sucks. <laughs> that doesn't. Corpse body never change. No, really. Please change. Holy shit.